everybody, it's Maria Marino and I am at the Clubhouse Banquet Kitchen right now. Here at Crystal Springs, we want to get into the spirit of the upcoming Super Bowl rematch between the New England Patriots and our very own New York Giants, who are obviously going to win. Anyway, to do that, we're going to have a friendly little competition between two of our resort chefs. First, Chef Florian will be serving up Manhattan clam chowder. Then we'll have Chef Pat from the Tavern cooking up New England clam chowder. After the cook-off, we'll have a taste test, and who knows, maybe the results will predict the real winner of the big game. So the first step for either recipe, the Manhattan clam chowder and uh, the New England style, is going to be cooking clams, uh, steaming them. That's going to take about a good 15-20 minutes to open up for big clams like that. Once the clams are open, we're going to separate the clam from the shell, we're going to cut it Nice and small. Same technique for both soups. Nice bacon going right into a hot pan. What's happening there is you're rendering the bacon. This is going to take about four or five minutes. This will give you a nice crispy bacon. Which is the one I'm making, which is going to be a lot better than Pat's. <laughs> We're doing the same thing with the bacon and we're adding a lot of uh, vegetables. So I have some carrots, onions and celery. Get a nice little color rendering that bacon and give it a lot of flavor. I'm adding some herbs. So I peeled the tomato in just a little hot boiling water for a couple of seconds. And then just took a peel off. And I'm going to cut it and take the seeds out of it. I'm making a rough dice. And all of that is going to go into the pot once all those vegetables have been nice and sweet. Once the bacon is rendered, it'll look like this. Your onions. Once the vegetables have a little bit of time to saute and soften up a little bit, that's when I like to go in and add the garlic. This way my garlic won't burn. His might be a little bitter, with burnt <laughs> garlic. I'm actually adding a little of uh, green pepper at this point. We didn't want to really sweat those green pepper. They are already sweet by themselves. Next step of the New England clam chowder is I'm going to be adding flour, which is going to be my thickening agent, so I have a nice consistency on the final product. You really stir this flour in well. Make sure it gets evenly coated. What it's going to do it's going to prevent uh, the soup from being lumpy. Once the flour has been incorporated in my vegetables, I'm going to add maybe a half a cup of white wine. My secret is to put in a red wine instead. And I'm going to add that. And let it reduce. So now we are ready for the clams that we chopped up earlier. So here they are. I'm going to put them in the soups, and both soups will get the clams. You had the, the clam juice that was given out when we cooked the clams. So that's a liquid that has a lot of clam flavor we're adding to the soup. Let all those flavor cook together. We want to make sure that all the vegetables are cooked all the way. Carrots and celery and onions take a lot longer to cook than potatoes, which is going to be the last ingredients in the, in the clam chowder. There is two ways that the clam chowder is going to get a nice and good consistency. It's through the flour that we put at the beginning and potatoes. We dice them up and when the carrots are about halfway cooked, we adding them to the soup and that's going to help thickening the soup as, as well and give it a nice finish. Both clam chowder are going to be getting potatoes. A couple more little touches on the, on the Manhattan clam chowder. I like the smokiness in the bacon, so we're going to add a little bit of uh, paprika, Hungarian paprika in it, and a little touch of Tabasco because we need to give it a kick. I'll be adding two bay leaves and a couple generous shakes of Tabasco. At this point, my soup is boiling is where I'm going to add the cream. And the reason I add the uh, milk or cream in last is to prevent the milk fats from burning. Uh, if you get it too hot, it will burn and stick to the bottom of the pan. I think you have way too much cream over here. I don't think I so don't at all. I don't think so. All right, so at this point, we're going to let this simmer nicely until uh, the potatoes, the vegetable, and all the flavors are really nicely binded together. Uh, We'll take a little about 15 to 20 minutes to do that, and uh, we'll see the result. Mine's gonna take a little longer because I like to get the full flavor 
of my soups and nice uh, smokiness of the bacon with the clams and vegetables. So I like mine simmer for, for about a half hour to 40 minutes. Oh yeah. How about you, Pat? I don't know. Let's see. Mmm. That's good soup. I'm going to win. That's good. I don't know.